1979, following its annexation of the Ryukyu Kingdom, Japan set its sights on the Diaoyutai Islands. In 1885, Japan, with the intent of erecting national markers on the islands, conducted an on-site survey. On September 6th of that year, the Shanghai Mercury published an article titled Warning from Taiwan, which stated, in a sign betokening occupation, the Japanese have planted their flag on islands northeast of Taiwan. Japan called for a pullback. Ripan in 1885, the foreign minister sent a confidential memorandum labeled For Your Eyes Only to the Home Minister, advising that the erection of national markers on the Diaoyutai Islands should be postponed to a more appropriate time, and that the matter should not be disclosed in our official gazetteer or newspapers. In 1892, the Okinawa governor wrote a memorandum to the Navy minister, noting that on-site surveys of the Diaoyutai Islands are incomplete, and since the opportunity to conduct another survey of the islands has not arrived, he requested that the Navy dispatch the vessel Kaimon to undertake such a survey. The Navy Ministry declined to do so, however, citing dangerous seasonal conditions. Three months before the outbreak of the Sino-Japanese War, a confidential memorandum written by the Okinawa governor noted, Since the 18th year of the Meiji reign, when the police authorities of Okinawa Prefecture dispatched investigators, no further on-site research has been performed. This was the last official document of the Japanese government on record concerning the Diaoyutais prior to the outbreak of hostilities in August 1894. It demonstrates that over the decade prior to the Sino-Japanese War, the Meiji government had conducted no further on-site exploration of the islands. This official document reveals fundamental flaws in Japan's legal claim to the islands. 所以日本要想強調釣魚台這是無主地,然後日本採取先戰,這件事情在國際法上面是沒有辦法成立的。